All right, Boca Channel here. Just picked up this uh, 12 foot John boat. It's 48 inches wide and I traded a guy for it. And I'm gonna start doing uh, videos on fishing and boating and things like that. But we went ahead and picked this thing up and uh, it's pretty nice. Doesn't leak or anything like that. I got a title for it. Most of the time you find these boats for cheap and nobody has titles. Can't do a whole lot without a title, so. All right, so yeah, we're, we're going to fix this thing up. I'm going to paint it, put carpet in it, rip the seats out. I got different seats for it, and put a gas motor and things on it, and make this thing a pretty cool little bass boat that I can throw in these small ponds and lakes that I got around here. And we'll see what we can do with it. Hey, guys, I thought this was pretty cool. Check this out. It's the seat. It's like a scissor jack seat. You pull on it, pull up on it, and it slides open. When you shut it, it looks like that. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to take these seats off, take these bases off, and uh, cut this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm cutting the center out right now or not. I think I'm going to flip it over and paint the bottom first, and then start working on the center. Anyway, we'll uh, keep you updated. Alright, so I uh, washed the boat last night. Brought it in the garage here, pulled my tractor out, got everything out of here so I can work on it because it keeps raining. So, anyway, we got the boat washed up, got the uh, AC cranking, and uh, it's kind of humid out, so that'll be nice. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, here's what I got going went ahead and got a quart of Rust All In Sunrise Red. And then I've got this uh, like metallic aluminum color paint. So the bottom is going to be the aluminum color. And then the, uh, from right here, this rib, or whatever you want to call it, crease, from here up is going to be that sunrise red. So pretty much it's going to look like the, uh, the Bass Tracker paint scheme, more or less. And then I've got some uh, black pinstriping that I'm going to run down uh, right along there between the sunrise red and the aluminum. That way it gives it a nice crisp clean look. So anyway, that's what I'm working on now. I got that acetone there. I'm going to wipe this thing down real quick and then I'm going to start spraying the bottom. And uh, yeah, so we'll get it looking uh, looking pretty good. We'll get this thing uh, down here. We'll flip the thing over and uh, start working on putting the floor in it, uh, carpet and stuff like that, and wiring and whatever else we're going to do to it. Okay, here I am wiping it down with the acetone, getting all the dirt off. There we are, spray painting it. And I'm doing the other side. Alright, so I got the bottom painted here with the aluminum paint. Looks pretty good. And I uh, went ahead and taped off the red. Got that board getting ready to roll it on there. And I put this thing up on saw horses so I could get to it easier. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and paint the bottom here and see how it looks. Alright, so here's the first coat of red. Probably gonna do two or three coats. It's uh, a little bit different doing it with a roller. I'm used to spraying stuff. Uh, but I didn't know how much paint I'd need to do this. I probably could have bought a couple spray cans, but uh, I've saw people roll it and I've saw people spray it, so we'll see how it looks when it's done. But like I said, it's got the first coat on there. Alright guys, here's the second coat. Looks a little better. Like I said before, I'm definitely going to spray it next time I paint a boat. I know, I see people do this with the foam roller, but it works. It's just it's a lot harder to work with. But anyway, I'll be putting a third coat on there, and then we'll uh, 
sand it down a little bit and go over with the rubbing compound and see how it looks. Alright, here we go. Third coat is on. So I think it turned out pretty awesome. I have to let it dry here a little bit, peel the tape off, and uh, gonna go over it with some rubbing compound and get it to, uh, well, some really, really fine grit sandpaper and then some rubbing compound. And uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I want it to have a really good mirror finish on it, so. I think it turned out all right. And, uh, so yeah, it's that side. But anyway, there it is. This is the first episode in the series on painting this old John boat here. Got the outside of it painted. I'm going to flip it over and paint the inside. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and uh, click like below. Thanks.